It's America's favorite pastime. For one night only, Capitol Hill takes over Nationals Park to put aside politics for the congressional baseball game. As fans and family pour into the stadium and players warm up on the field, the Republicans were feeling good about their chances of winning. There'll be a lot of trash talk, don't worry. It's, uh, it's just getting started. I mean, I mean, we've been pretty successful the last couple of years, so... Well, not everyone can put aside their differences in this polarizing town as a small group of protesters began screaming during the national anthem before being removed. Another group of climate protesters stormed the field before being tackled by police. And this game's not just about a hundred year old rivalry. The congressional baseball game has become a monumental fundraiser for the community. This year, blowing it out of the park with a record $2 million raised for local charities. I'm most excited to help some of the underprivileged who are able to get to college. I met a couple of students earlier today, just really good kids, fell in love with the game. And the game helped them you know, matriculate to college. And we'll see where our hard work and dedication takes a place. We got to just meet with some of the uh, some of the boys and girls that actually got scholarships because of the great work they do from this uh, foundation uh, that we're raising money for tonight. So it's really neat to meet the kids that are benefiting from it. I'm going to get to participate in sports, learn discipline, I have fun, I learn all the lessons that are going to give them opportunities in life. That's what this is about, is the charities that we're supporting. Steve Scalise, who has become synonymous with this game, was first up to bat with cheers from the whole crowd. Republicans ran away with the lead with seven runs in the fourth inning. Republicans completely dominated with the final score of 31 to 11. With one victory under his belt, we asked Representative Byron Donalds about being reported as part of the shortlist for Donald Trump's vice presidential pick. A lot of times, vice presidents get to throw out the first pitch. You got any first pitches in your future? Oh. 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 This game comes as Trump is in town preparing to meet with Republican leadership on Capitol Hill. While things are tense in the halls of Congress, this game is about helping the community and keeping alive what has become a national tradition. From Nationals Park, I'm Amy DeLora for Washington Examiner.